proving yet again that women cannot win, and that people on the internet are out of their mind bonkers, Kate Middleton is being mom shamed. Yes, trolls are dragging her over her latest pregnancy. Leave it to social media morons to turn some special, non-controversial news that we frankly could all use right now into get on a pill. A 35-year-old woman is trying to raise children and live her best life, while really not doing anything objectionable. Yet she gets this. Kensington Palace announced that Kate Middleton is pregnant with her third child, who will join George, 4, and Charlotte, 2, on Monday. Very sweet, without a doubt. Unless you're on Twitter, where people tell her to get on the pill you slag or liken her to a conveyor belt. Seriously, those were actual comments. Don't ask us why a woman having a third biological child in her 30s is somehow newsworthy at all, let alone in a negative way, but. Basically, what you have here is Kate Middleton being shamed for, having sex with her husband. We really don't see the point here. The idea that the Duke of Cambridge's genitals junk is often up in the shouldn't come as a surprise, nor offend anyone, in our opinion. Isn't it a woman's business and hers alone, whether she's married or not, which Kate is, it's worth repeating, how many kids she wants. We're not judging them either, but Kaylin Lowry has three kids out of wedlock, and Jim Bob and Michelle Duggar have 19. 19. Kate truly cannot win no matter what here. Imagine if the Duchess of Cambridge were, say, to end this pregnancy. Or not have children at all. She would be filleted online as selfish. She would be heartless. Immoral. Worse. Just wait until she starts to show, or in Kate's case, barely show. Middleton has also been shamed for her body, and will likely be again. Like a Royal Sarah stage, she will be too skinny to be in her third trimester. In the interim, she's being dramatic about morning sickness. Never mind that Kate's morning sickness isn't like most people's, Middleton suffers from hyperemesis gravidarum, a severe form of it. She's been hospitalized as a result, which was actually the event that prompted the palace to announce her first pregnancy in late 2012. Perhaps the only positive spin we can put on this is that Kate seems fairly adept at blocking out the noise and living life on her terms. Being criticized and scrutinized for whatever you do is, sadly, par for the course in her life, and honestly, she's been through a lot worse. Not only will detractors belittle her life choices, they'll attempt to scandalize and sexualize her when she's simply going about her life. The Kate Middleton topless photo scandal, for example, involved her intimate moments broadcast online for all to see, against her will. It's no way to live. Just because she's a celebrity doesn't mean that the rules of basic human decency don't apply to how you treat her. This week, she and William won judgment in that case, which they took to court out on principle, despite not needing to collect damages. A little pregnancy hating slash jealousy slash people trying way too hard to be snarky and funny pales in comparison to telephoto lens stalking. Silver lining? 